Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to present you two drills that are going to help you to control the low point of the swing in order to be ready for that first tournament of the season. Before I present you the drills, let's hear a bit what it means actually to not control properly the low point of the swing, what that's gonna imply to our swing and mostly how it's gonna impact our ability to strike the golf ball. So in order to be a lot easier to show you how I control the low point of the swing, I'm gonna use some chart that I'm gonna place a line on the mat. So in this way, you're gonna see if I hit the ball fat or I have the low point before the ball, or if I'm not actually touching the red area and I'm just collecting the ball clean. So, most of the time when we cannot control the low point of the swing, there are gonna be two options. One, when the low point is way before the golf ball, which means that you hit the ground before the ball, and in that case, the red line is gonna disappear, or you have the low point so far after the ball that you actually top the ball, so you cannot make contact with it too good. So, let's see a shot where I'm gonna have the low point before the ball, and one after the ball and in that way we're gonna see and we can compare how changing the low point is gonna change the strike that I'm able to produce. Those were the two shots where the low point control was either before or after the golf ball. So let's quickly look again at each video and let's see exactly what was the cause for each of these problems. So on the first video, when I hit the line that I just drew before the ball, you could see the dust as well just flying off. The main problem was that the hands were a bit too active and they released the club a bit too early. And that's why the contact happened too early. Now, if we move on the other side, when the low point was after the ball by a lot, you can see that the hands actually hold the club too much in the air, so I maintain too much lag, and therefore the low point of the swing was too far after the golf ball. And in this way, you can't make contact with it in a proper way, and the ball was thinned. If you are in a situation like this, where you are not able to control the low point, and from one shot to the other, you have big space between the, the low points, so going from back to front in a matter of swings, that means that we only need to improve your skill of controlling this aspect of the swing. Then let's see two drills that are going to help you to develop this skill of the swing. So first of all, I want you to just have a set of five shots. In each drill, you're gonna hit five shots and then we're gonna hit five shots with no help of the drill, so in a normal swing. So I want you to take the five shots and also for the beginning to use short irons and then you're gonna move into the long irons as you get better and better with these drills. So I have an eight iron, I'm gonna take the setup at the ball, I'm gonna place it in a normal position and now I want to step backwards until the ball is in line with my front foot. Now we're gonna place the club next to the ball and in this way you're gonna realize two things. One, that the ball is so far forward and when you're gonna come to strike the ball you're gonna have to keep the handle going forward and your hands going forward before the club head. And this drill is gonna help you great for shuffling at impact. So you're gonna start to develop this position more and more and you're gonna start to actually feel it in your swing more often. And when you're not gonna do it actually that good, it's gonna feel really weird. So I have the ball in line with my front foot. I'm gonna place the club next to it and now my whole target is to hit the ball good without making contact with the floor before. So let's see how good I can do and then we're gonna move into the second drill. So that was the first drill. It has many benefits behind it. Now let's see the second one. Again, I wanted to use five shots. I'm gonna use again the eight iron, but you should actually change it to a nine iron or a pitching wedge. And now what I want you to do is to take the setup at the ball, place the ball in the normal position, so I'm gonna use middle of the stance for the eight, and to avoid the low point control being too far forward, 
we're gonna actually put the club back about five to 10 centimeters. So if you put it, let's say, about five centimeters, it's gonna be easier to hit the ball than if you put it at 10. So I will ask you to start with five centimeters first. And now your whole target is to make good contact with the ball every time. So in this way, you're gonna learn how to control the low point, even if you have some space between the club and the ball. Therefore, let's see some shots. So I tried the two drills as well. Now I placed on the ground two lines, the one after the ball, it should not be touched because it's too far. And the one before, it should not be touched either because that would mean that the low point is before the ball. So let's see how good I can do after the two drills that I just managed to finish. The drills that I just presented to you are gonna be really good because of a few reasons. One, they're gonna teach you to control the low point of the swing in a consistent way, so you're gonna become a much better striker of the golf ball. The second one is gonna teach you to have forward shuffling at impact. So that is another characteristic of a good striker of the golf ball. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel, share the video, and I will see you next week at The Solution Golf.